we're going to touch base and just to talk about checking the oil level on an engine. So any engine doesn't really matter. We're talking about diesel engines, of course, for Perkins engines, um, but the principle is the same. First things first, we look at the engine, is it on level ground? That's quite important because of course if the engine is not level, if it's a machine that's left on the side of a bank for example, then the oil is going to be sloshed over to one side of the sump or the oil pan and the dipstick, which we're going to check the oil level on, won't be in the correct position. So the engine does really need to be on as level ground as we can get it. The dipstick on this engine that we're going to use to check the oil level is down here. Righto, so hopefully you can see now, we've got to pull the dipstick out and actually check the oil level. So, out it comes. Now the first thing we need to do is clean off any residual oil that's on the dipstick. Because if the engine's been running, it's gonna have splashed oil up the dipstick anyway, and it will give us completely false reading. So nice and clean, nice clean cloth. Put the dipstick back in and then pull it out, and this is the one we're gonna use for reading. Now when you pull the dipstick out, try not to tip the dipstick up backwards like that, because you might find the oil will run up the dipstick, and again, give you a false reading. So keep the dipstick in the orientation roughly that it was when it came out of the engine. Rotate it round, and when you get a light hitting the dipstick right, you'll be able to see where the oil is. Depending on how long the engine's been run, will depend on how dirty the oil has become. Diesel engine oil tends to get black quite quickly from the carbon. That's nothing to worry about as long as you're changing the oil at the regular correct intervals. So this oil level in, in this engine is right at the top limit on the dipstick. The dipstick has two marks, top and bottom, or minimum and maximum, but this one is at the top. Now anywhere between the top and the bottom mark is acceptable. We don't need to be worrying too much if we're anywhere between the two. We should only be topping the engine oil up if it gets down towards the bottom mark. The uh, reason for that is there's not always a huge amount of oil difference between the top and the bottom. Obviously depending on how big your engine is. A small engine like this one, this is a 2.2 litre engine, um, it holds I think around about nine litres of oil. So probably the difference between the top and the bottom is less than a litre of oil. So you can imagine if you think, oh no, I've got this right down at the bottom of the dipstick, I need to put loads of oil in, it's very easy to then overfill the engine, which is really bad. We don't want to overfill the engine. That can be uh, quite as bad as having the engine underfilled. So in between the two marks is the golden rule. So, oil level on this engine is actually okay. However, I'll still just mention what we should do if we need to top it up. So we put the dipstick back in, uh, we clean the dipstick before we put it back in. In fact, I'll do that just so I don't get any confusion. We'll clean the dipstick first, put the dipstick back in, and then we need to find the access point where we would clean sorry, find the access point where we would top the engine oil up. Now conveniently on this engine, it's right in view of the camera on the timing case. There is another one on this engine at the top. Uh, sometimes you'll find there's more than one fill point um, on a Perkins engine at least, just to make it easier depending on the application it's fitted into. Before we unscrew the fill cap, we should clean, clean around the area to remove any, any dirt, because we don't want any dirt getting into the engine oil. So remove the filler cap, check the seal's okay, which it is, and you can see here the fill port or the fill point. So we need a funnel or something like that that's nice and clean so we don't spill any oil anywhere when we fill it up. And we should be filling it with a clean container with the correct specification and the correct grade of oil, both of which can be found in your operation maintenance manual. Uh, very important to use the right type of oil when we refill our engine. So as I mentioned, there's not a big difference between the top and the bottom mark on the dipstick. So we want to be very careful not to put too much in or do lots of small amounts and keep checking it rather than one big amount and risk being overfilled. So on this engine, I'd probably put about um, 0.25 or a quarter of a litre in at a time, pour it in, give it a few seconds to drip to the bottom, and then I'd be checking the dipstick periodically as the oil runs into the bottom of the engine and seeing how it raises up the dipstick. Um, do need to be careful because there is a little bit of a delay as the oil runs down to the bottom of the sump, um, especially if the engine's really, really cold. 
So don't rush is the um, probably good advice I can give you. And then when you're happy with the all level being correct, we make sure the filler cap is securely refitted and tight, just finger tight on this particular engine um, is, is adequate just to make sure we're okay. One last final check, that's done up correctly, that's incorrectly. Clean up any spills, I did drop a little tiny drip so you saw me wiping that up. And you also notice I'm wearing gloves, don't want to get the oil on my fingers. Um, so that's it for checking the oil level, I hope that was helpful, um, look out for the next video when we check the next item. So please remember these videos are here to assist you. The safe source of information for any of these checks that we're doing are taken from the Operation and Maintenance Manual, which can be found as shown in the earlier video uh, on the Perkins website. And you should always refer to this as your safe source of information.